if you're one of the thousands of people who uses the Leopold Tunnel in Brussels, you may have noticed that part of the drive is a lot lighter than the rest. Without knowing it, you've driven through the first large-scale test in Belgium of a new system of anti-air pollution, photocatalytic cement. The photocatalytic product is activated by the UV light, and when the pollutant touches it, it'll be oxidized or reduced. It'll be captured and taken from the air and held on the surface of the tunnel. Photocatalytic cement's been around for a few years and contains titanium dioxide. One of its properties is that under certain lights, the photocatalytic chemical reaction attracts numerous pollutants. All scientists have to do is plaster the tunnel in the cement and install the UV lights. The Leopold Tunnel experiment is being led by a team of European researchers. If the results are conclusive, it could become widely used in Europe. Titanium oxide is a common element. It's found in sand. It needs a bit of purifying, but it's not much more expensive than regular cement. It's a few percent, around 10 percent more costly than normal cement. Tests have shown the cement can reduce underground pollution by up to 20 percent. This pollution-absorbing cement's already been used elsewhere, in tunnels in Japan and some factories in the US. One other advantage, the UV lines brighten up the tunnel, making it safer for motorists.